Hello, Aries. It is me, Alan. Hi, I'm here to bring you guys a bonus reading. Last I checked, you guys were the highest of the fire signs. So let us see what bonus information the universe has for you. Mmm, full new journey. Three of Swords, pain, hurt. Taking your time going slow. It's hard. It's hard for you to go slow. And with the hanged man, I feel like it's uncomfortable. But a lot of you guys are, um, you are or you should try to make the necessary sacrifices and kind of bend to the will of the universe. Um, this to me feels like it could be related to love or matters of the heart. I do feel like there's a hidden message here with the three of swords in saying, um, for you guys maybe to look into your dating or relationship past and kind of take a look to see if going fast caused a lot of heartbreak, rushing through things, jumping to conclusions, and just moving too quickly all around. Two of pentacles is, you know, kind of having choices, having options, um, kind of being able to go back and forth. Angels are also saying too, there's a level of flexibility and freedom. I feel like there is a, an enormous amount of freedom in that flexibility that you guys may be discovering for the first time. Yeah, you don't like the unknown like most people. Hey, Scorpio, a tower moment. Hanged man again. Mama. Two of swords, a lot of duality is here on the table. Queen of Cups, thank you for confirming, angels, that this ha does and have to do with Aries' uh, emotions. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you want your situations pretty much cut and dry. You don't ha have to, you don't want to have to wonder or worry or be confused about where you're headed, where you're going. It's like, just give it to me straight, straight up, no lime, no ice, just hit, hit me with it with whatever we're doing, with wherever we're headed. The, the fool is um, setting off into the unknown, brand new journey, not having a lot of information. It also requires a strong, strong, strong level of faith, right? Taking that leap, taking, you know, taking those steps into the unknown, not necessarily knowing where your next step is going to land you. Um, with the seven of cups, I feel like for a lot of you guys, your heart could be leading the way. Now, I will caution you there in saying, be careful that you are not suppressing your heart and using your mind only, and then also vice versa, suppressing your mind and using your heart. They really, really, really should be a partnership, meaning use both your head and heart, especially when navigating forward or navigating through this unknown. Three of Swords and the Tower card. This feels like being freed from past heartbreak or pain. Um, angels are saying, you know, when you play Monopoly and you wind up in jail, it's like, go to jail, go straight to jail. Don't collect $200. Don't even say body of family. Just get, get the hell on, right? Um, but then you plug chance or community chess and you get that get out of jail free card. What it is that I'm describing is like you guys being freed and getting that get out of jail card, get out of jail, the jail of your heart, heartache, heartbreak, pain, or despair of the past. So another way I could say this, Aries, in many, um, many words less, is I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're getting a new shot at love. You're getting a new opportunity in love. The universe has helped you clear away the residue of past, past pain, past hurt. You're getting a new, not only leash on life, but leash on love specifically. Now with the Knight of Pentacles, you know what you want. So maybe this time around, take your time, right? Stop to smell the roses. Don't be in such a rush. Get to know your person. Get to know their ins and outs, their qualms, um, their qualms, their, you know, their beauty, their bliss. And with the hanged man, it's almost like the universe is wanting you to just suspend maybe your expectations, maybe what you think you know about life, what you think not about life, what you think you know about relationships, what you think you know about your person. 
let them be the teacher of themselves, right? We have a tendency as humans, and this is, I think, a, a standard human trait, where we have this thing called perception, right? So I feel like there's a strong message here, definitely, with the hanged man and saying, you know, learn them in the 3D. Stay out of what you think you know about them or what you, who you think they are, what you think, what you're sending through your conscious mind, your energy, your thoughts, aka your perceptions. Nine of Wands and Mama, the Empress. It's going to be a hard road because I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is almost like abandoning, leaving behind or suspending your whole way of dating. And that is not going to feel uncomfortable to anybody, right? And that's what I feel is represented here by the Nine of Wands. It's going to be a struggle, right? Um, anytime you learn anything new, there is going to be a humongous learning curve until you kind of start to get familiar and you start to master whatever it is that you're learning. The Empress card here kind of says that keep going because there is a light at the end of the tunnel, there is abundance, there is prosperity, there is creation, there is a resolution and solution to whatever it is that you are fighting for. So in other words, your sacrifices will not be in vain. We have the hanged man here again with the two of swords. I feel like this could be your energy of resistance, your energy of maybe even procrastination in that it's taken you a long time to take this leap, to take this journey, to have faith, because especially you being a fire sign, it's almost like you are used to just getting to things and ideas and solutions relatively quick. Now the universe is calling upon you to slow down and you're like, wait, what? Like, I, I can't even fathom, I can't even understand how this is going to work out. But I feel like, again, that two of, two of Pentacles, you have an option. You could do it the old way, you could do it, the, do it the new way. But in the end, the ultimate goal is love. The ultimate goal is emotional connection. The ultimate goal is satisfaction and joy. So realistically, Aries, it's up to you on, on the path and the method that you want to use. You could use your old comfortable way and wind up with your old same, same old result, or you can kind of give the universe's um, method a try this time around. And you may wind up um, falling in love or wind up with an open heart. So you are ready and vibrating um, at that love frequency so you can attract new love. Okay, right, look. Mm. Six of Wands, you're going to be successful. Ah, angels are saying taking that leap of faith, you're going to be successful. I would just say again with that Seven of Cups, you know, Seven of Cups represents kind of rose-colored glasses, cloud nine, being in your heart, being in your feelings, where, you know, kind of being confused and or blinded by love. And again, uh, Aries, especially with you being a fire sign, I would just say balance, balance, balance. And angels just also said too, that's what's also represented there with the hanged man. And that for a lot of you guys, I mean, almost literally, I feel like you don't feel like yourselves in whatever this situation is. And, and angels are saying, yeah, again, because you're not comfortable, because you're not using old patterns and behaviors and habits. Nine of Cups, okay, you're going to be successful in love. I feel like, yeah, if you can follow or muster up the courage to follow angelic advice, you're going to be wildly successful in love. Two of Wands, yeah, that again. Remember, two, two, two here. You got a lot of twos, which represents choice, options. Which door are you going to pick? Door number one or door number two? It's up to you. King of Wands, uh-oh, those are your cousins, Libra. Excuse me, Leo. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's the aggression. Yeah, the aggression is burning you out. Okay. King of Wands is also um, very sure of him or herself, their selves. Um, very powerful, very passionate, very lusty. Um, but I feel like the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups, there's that fire and water. 
not the greatest combination, right? It's not. I'm <laughs> sorry, it's not. Um, because again, if they don't manage it well, she's going to water him down. He's going to burn her out, right? So to me, those are like 100% complete opposites. There is the strength card. I love these cards because they shine and glisten. They're my um, golden foil tarot deck and I got them off of Am Amazon. Okay, adjusting my camera so you can see that. And what do we have? Four swords, there's a procrastinate. Yeah, there's you kind of stopping because you may not be seeing results. You may not, you may feel like you're not getting what you want. You're not ne necessarily making any progress because things are going so slow. So to an extent, it's almost like four swords is you basically like just taking a time out, taking a chill pill, like, you know what? Let me pull over at this rest stop because I've been stuck in this traffic for too long, right? Literally, especially when it comes to your love life, could be related to other areas of your life, but I feel like this is specific to love Aries. You're used to going a lot faster than you are. This time around, whatever this relationship is, the universe is charging you to go slower because I do feel like your ultimate goal, being in love, having a beautifully balanced, blissful relationship, um, I feel like that goal or wanting that goal, the universe is now saying to you, here's how you get there, right? Here's how you get there. Here's what you need to do. Um, I feel like this is Aries with some sort of Leo in your chart where it's Leo rising or Leo in your moon position. I feel like some of you guys could also be dealing with the Leo, Leo Cancer Cusper. Um, or, oh, that's what it is because you got double Leo here. Oh, your ego wants to take charge. But your ego is the one that burns you out. The ego is one is the one that burns out situations. So the universe is asking you to balance your ego with more emotion and love and nurturing and caring in your relations relationships. That's why you have all this duality there. <laughs> this is a dumbass example, but the universe is like, stop eating with so much salt. Add a little pepper to your uh, food, right? So in other words, introduce the other side of uh, the equation or other options to help really, really, really bring you a full experience. These are my universe has your back oracle cards. I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Okay, I can have a light right here, which is blaring everything. Okay, blurring. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So for those of you who are wishing, wanting, um, wanting love, angels are saying again, just be patient. As, a, as my eyes just landed on the perfect timing card that was on my table for angel answers. Next is energy flows where my intention goes. So remain, remain um, focused, remain focused on what it is that you want. Remain focused on your end result and your goal. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. That kind of says, as long as you follow your heart, accept love, things will work out. Your whatever, whatever is, is meant for you, whatever blessings or miracles are meant for you as part of your birthright, you will achieve that. You will get there as long as you don't forget about love, basically, right? So, you know, kind of uh, incorporate a little bit more love into your love life, into your relationships, into your situations. Be careful about being so top heavy, top heavy with your ego. And I feel like you're going to have some pretty amazing results. Again, with nine of wands and a strength card, this this could be one of your greatest challenges aries because again you're pretty strong pretty tough you're that martian go-getter you know fiery energy so to kind of quote unquote water it down oh my god it, it it may be like you're a king of the jungle the lion and now the universe is asking you to be a bird right a cardinal or a hawk or an eagle and you're like but i don't even know how to fly Right. I get it. You feel like a quote unquote, <laughs> a 
I was going to say fish out of water. Angels was like, no, they're the ram out the, out the woods or out the jungle. Oh my God. I got to go, but you get with angels. I have Aquarius here. I have Scorpio. I have Virgo. I have Pisces. I have Leo, Taurus, and Libra. Pisces, um, Leo, and then also Cancer. So I have all of my water signs here, which again is the underlying message, you know, grow a little bit more comfortable with your emotional body, with your emotional self. I feel like you're going to see amazing results. Okay, Aries, another good reading. I hope it does resonate. If it does, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.